Hello, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can update your WordPress blog with two ways. First is one-click update and second is manual update. So what you're going to do first is that you're going to uh, back up all of your files and the database that you have. If you like, you can check out my other tutorial how to manually back up your whole WordPress blog and database. And once you've done that, then we can continue uh, this video. So let me close this uh, blog first. And this is the blog that uh, we will work with. As you can see, I have images here and menu bar and so forth. So I'm using 2014 chart theme for the moment. And uh, let's go to the dashboard. So I assume that you can already des uh, log into your dashboard. And there is my dashboard and for this demo I'm using a WordPress blog that uses WordPress 3.8 there and as you can see at the moment uh, is 3.9 is available and I'm recommended to update my blog. Before you going to update or before you click on please update now, I strongly recommend that you go to plugins and install plugins and then you're going to uh, disable all of your plugins. So book plugins and then deactivate it and then hit apply. So once you have your plugins are all deactivated, then you can safely click on please update now. And as you can see again, very important that you need to back up your files before updating. So once you have your backup now, you can click on update now. But uh, I don't do that for now because I am now going to show you how you can manually back up your WordPress blogs. That was just a uh, one click update. So it's actually also easy, but there are some ways or some reasons why you need to manually back up your WordPress blog. So to do manual backup, first step is you need to back up your files as I mentioned earlier and second disable all plugins that we did earlier and then the next step is we download the recent version of WordPress so you can go to Google I'm using Chrome at the moment you can type download WordPress and this will bring you to the download WordPress page and this is the current version you're going to download that so once you download it, it depends on where you save your uh, the files, the downloaded files. Mine is saved in my desktop. So I open my finder and then I'm going to navigate to my desktop. And there it is, the fresh downloaded files from WordPress. What we're going to do is uh, to extract this, this file. So we're going to extract it by double click it if you use Mac. And I recommend that you can install the, the unarchiver because it's very handy. Um, Mac extension and then uh, you're going to delete this .zip file, move it to the trash and then you have the extracted WordPress uh, files here. This this is why very important when you install WordPress, I also recommend that you install it manually so uh, more or less you are familiar with the structure of WordPress files. So the next is we could log into our cPanel. You can also do that with the uh, FTP client but I personally prefer doing it with uh, with cPanel directly because not it's only faster but it on it's also uh, guaranteed that you upload all the files uh, properly. So let's log into our uh, cPanel. So you're going to your blog and then slash and then cPanel and then here you're going to click on login so you're going to scroll down and look uh, for file manager or click uh, here on the find section you're going to type file manager and there it is you're going to see file manager click that and we're going to document root for your domain and make sure that show hidden files is not checked and then click on go so let's see let's say now this is your uh, root of your wordpress blog as you can see this is the old uh, version so the 3.8 version and as you can see I have an uh, addition HTML file to verify Google Webmaster Tool and uh, any other files for example maybe you have the download folders or something so if you open your finder again this is the WordPress files and other than that it's not WordPress file except of wp-config.php now the next what we're going to do is 
uh, let the WB dash content over there because this contains images. So what we're going to do is delete every WordPress files. You can compare it one by one here if you like. Except WB dash content, and then the error uh, underscore log, and then the uh, WB dash config dot PHP. These files we don't delete. So let's delete that. So WB dash admin and WP uh, includes so you can hold your shift key and choose and select the file that you don't need and this we need and this we need so any WordPress files except of wb-config and wb-content so this is these files we don't need because these files are the old one so once you select all of these files check it again Make sure that uh, it's WordPress all the file. You can also uh, compare it here. And then once you've done that, you can click on uh, delete button there on the top. Delete files. So next, after you delete this file, we go to finder again and check the files again here. And as you can see, we didn't delete the wb-content on the uh, cPanel because this content images. But this new uh, wb-content, it's new from WordPress uh, files, the original, and we don't need that because it, because it can override your wb-content and your images will be gone. So what we need to do is delete this wb-content, move to trash, and then move wb-config-sample um, I mean wb dash config dash sample dot php also move it to trash and then select all of this file and right click it and then compress 17 items click that and it will compress our files there in uh, inside this folder so we have now dot zip file what we need to do next is we're going to upload it so go here again in your cpanel and then click on upload button and then choose file and then you go to navigate to the WordPress folder and the .zip file that we've just created and then click on open. So when it says it's complete, you can back uh, to your path. And if you don't see archive.zip file, you can reload, uh, you can click on reload button there on the top. But for now, we, we select it and then uh, extract and then click on extract files. and then uh, hit close there it is this is the new files that we uploaded and now we can uh, select that archive.zip file and then delete it and if you use mac this underscore mac OS X, we also delete that so now that we've done already manually backup in our uh, root directory we're going to log out from cpanel Close this tab, and then you're going to log into uh, still in your dashboard. Then here on the dashboard, you can uh, refresh or just click on the dashboard uh, icon there, and then you will be prompt to update your WordPress database. Click on that, and then hit continue. So now, as you can see, we have WordPress 3.9. 3.9.1 the ration version and if we click on our site our site are still there except it's now updated or manually updated to the ration version and then the next go back to your plugins again and install plugins and then we can uh, enable these plugins again so check all of this and then uh, group actions we want to activate and click apply so now your site is functional again like it was before. So that's it guys, a quick tips uh, for today. I hope it will be useful for you. Please like this video if it was useful for you. I will really appreciate that. And thank you so much for watching and take care of yourself. See you in the next video. Goodbye.